Welcome back you guys. Today we're going to be working on a Glock 19. This is a Gen 4 model and wow this is going to be a very advanced build. We're going to be running the Hive. We're going to be doing some things that we have not done before in a complete video. So I want to take you through that entire process of exactly uh, what we're going to be doing to have you better understand exactly what you're watching before it unfolds. So the first thing that we're going to do on this slide is we're going to end up running a chamfer all the way around it. We're going to go ahead and cut a angled edge right here on the top sides, the back three sides, and of course the front three sides. That's one of the things that we're going to first start by doing. We're then going to move on to doing an optic cut in the rear and relocating the dovetail. So we're going to do a viper in the back. Okay, so it's going to come back here, remove that dovetail. That dovetail is going to come up in front of the viper. Okay, so that's going to kind of complete the back zone here. It's going to take up most of this area in the rear top section. Um, definitely something uh, that's going to be very, very nice on this build. Now, what we're also going to be doing is on the front zone, we're going to run that hive up and through here. So we're going to be able to see some nice barrel all the way through it we'll, while still keeping that rigidity overall so that we have a long life on the pistol, right? That's one of the things that we want. And on the sides, we're going to go ahead and shave this down. Starting here, we're going to come down with a ball nose come all the way across, go right off the front, shave that off, remove that existing factory text, get rid of that so it looks a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and run the hive pattern on the side, which is gonna match the top. We'll be doing the same on this side, shaving it down, adding the hive, doing a ball nose around the ejection port and the extractor over here, some nice detail work. It'll, it'll just kind of blend really, really well. Now, one of the other things we're gonna be doing on this that we have not done in the other videos is the Cobra nose. So we're gonna be adding the Cobra nose to this build. That's gonna be something that's gonna be able to show that barrel off just a little bit better. It's gonna be a, a intricate pattern. I've done several of them, but we've never turned out a video uh, performing the work and actually going over all of the work. It's just been a couple of pictures on Instagram. Once again, follow us over on Instagram if you're not doing that so already. There's a lot of cool content over there. So uh, that's what we're gonna kind of be doing with most of the CNC work. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna obviously bring it over to the laser. We're gonna do the rear grip sections on here with the hive. So that's gonna go ahead and kind of complete off the slide. And that's gonna kind of call that a day as far as the slide work goes. Now we're also gonna be doing the frame. So in this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and strip it down. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up so it doesn't have any of these knobs on it. This is a gen four, so it's a little bit more aggressive. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prep it for the hive pattern on the frame. So we'll end up running the hive pattern all down and through here. We'll run it up in here. We're gonna do the same thing over here. This will all be done with the hive, right? We'll have a little section of hive here. Then we're gonna go ahead, get everything cleaned up. Then we're gonna go ahead and color it. We're getting away from the green color and we're gonna get into, I believe, the black color. So we're getting out of one and into the other. Very, very cool, very detailed build that we're gonna be doing today. A very uh, complete build that we're gonna be doing today. So that's kind of the overview of exactly what we're doing. So guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get you over to the Tormach 770. Let's go ahead and get the CNC work performed on the slide. We're probably gonna bring it back. We're gonna show it off just a little bit. Then we're gonna move on to the laser work.
guys, let's take a look and see what that final product is. And I'm going to be honest with you, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it is just amazing. There's such uh, intricate work that is performed on the slide in order to achieve perfection. And I'm going to tell you, I love the Hive stuff. You guys know that I'm just a real big hive builder. If I can uh, do everything in a hive, I will. But adding this Cobra nose to it and you know, switching up the rear section with the optic and the dovetail moved, it's just one extra layer of awesomeness to this already very cool build. So guys, let's just, uh, let's just put it together. I mean, we could talk about what we did. We know what we did. You guys have seen a couple of these. Not sure you guys have ever seen one with the optic cut and the dovetail move, and definitely haven't seen one with the Cobra nose in a full build video. But let's um, let's put it together and just see kind of what it what it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and add this barrel to it first because we're not going to build the gun with this barrel. But I do want to show it to you with this new barrel in here. That is one killer looking design. I mean, it really is just beautiful overall. Very very pleased with the way this came out. Nice ported barrel. We've got a little bit of. Uh, aggressiveness to the top of that. Guys, of course, I went outside and grabbed you some pictures of this in the natural light, and it looks amazing. So what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and take this aftermarket barrel out. Um, this is my barrel here. We're gonna go ahead and build it with, with what would be the real uh, barrel. At some point in time, I think the customer is coming back to get a hive barrel done. So um, I'm sure if you follow me over on the Instagram, you will probably see that turn up eventually. So let's go ahead and put this together. Very, very nice, as most of you care. There's nothing in the mag. So, laser stippling on the frame, undercut, double undercut here, aggressive finish on here. So what we do is we do a special process before we put that coating down. Um, as you know, this was a green frame. So as you've seen in the beginning of the video, this was a silver on green. Um, very, very well thought out as far as the way the upper and the lower go together, how they blend. I've done several of these, uh, never to this level of uh, intricacy. I've never done the optic with the, with the Cobra, with the frame, with the undercut. I mean, this is, this is truly, uh, we're getting up into that ultimate build kind of uh, aspect here because I'm not sure a whole lot more what we can do. Uh, maybe something in here in the future, maybe something on these edges here. So there's some small stuff that could be done, but I'm not so sure that that's gonna be uh, anytime soon because this is just such a beautiful build overall. I wouldn't change a whole lot to this. Just, hmm, I'm just loving it. I mean, this is, this is just beautiful. Guys, go back and watch some of our older content. We have a lot of really cool stuff there. If you haven't, go back and watch it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, you're missing out. Um, the other thing I wanna tell you is that we are in the process of uh, starting to train people on laser equipment. So we uh, reach out to me if you're, if you're thinking about buying a laser, we have, the, uh, we have the opportunity for you to purchase a laser through us to get formal training, to go through that process and actually learn how to laser stipple, how to do the uh, hive patterns on the back, how to do those patterns. And not just the stuff that we're offering, but to help you get to where you wanna be in your designs for your customers or for your hobby, if it's just something that you're doing for yourself. So. Definitely reach out to us on that. We're selling uh, different uh, wattage systems and different model systems. Uh, some of them with the ability to cater to all plastics and others with the ability to do color on stainless. So definitely a cool opportunity there to meet whatever your need is. We can definitely uh, support that and help you with that. Now this will be formal training with rotary lenses, evacuation systems, polymer based engravings, uh, anything to do with any kind of uh, metal engravings, whether it's brass, stainless, steel, titanium, uh, we're gonna be talking about all of that through the training. So you'll have an opportunity to learn each and every one of those and how those uh, system parameters will differ from those different materials to achieve the optimal results in the uh, shortest amount of time, especially for doing something like a deep based engraving. But guys, feel free to reach out to me, go to the webpage, you're gonna find a contacts tab, fill that out, let me know exactly what your project is. Let's go ahead and get that ball rolling. And um, you know, it's kind of a cool opportunity to have something Done. There's a lot of other companies out there, but those companies sell cookie cutter patterns and we really don't do that. I let the customers choose what the customer wants and we kind of just build based off of their wants and needs and they come up with whatever custom gun they're after. So guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, stand by. We've got a lot of other very big builds coming down the pipe. Thanks.